We had in the old, old scenario always a calculation. The longest time you fly with a fighter bomber over Germany is if you go from the Czech border to the Bodensee, and that takes you less than 15 minutes. This is enormously fast. This, this also shows how reactive air defense forces must be and how integrated they must be in order to counter especially surprise attacks. And that's, that's why, why this integration aspect of air defense is so important. ACTS allows NATO and the nations to manage air operations both over NATO European territory and out of area when deployed. It combines the planning, tasking and execution of all air operations by integrating functions such as aircraft control, air traffic control, command and control and airspace surveillance, amongst others. ACTS is replacing NATO and national systems and will interconnect more than 20 military aircraft control centres including the Headquarters Allied Air Command, otherwise known as AIRCOM, in Ramstein, Germany. AIRCOM delivers air and space power for the Alliance. Its mission is to protect the NATO European airspace on behalf of the Supreme Allied Commander Europe. This responsibility is delegated to two combined air operations centres, KOX in Torrejón, Spain, and Udem, Germany, as well as one deployable air command and control centre in Poggio Renatico, Italy. ACTS will interconnect these three chaos in the future, increasing the effectiveness of NATO air operations. The Italian Aircraft Control Centre in Poggio Renatico was the first ACTS site to achieve operational status in May 2015. In Italy, as a country, the the beauty of ACCS is using the system for the non-real-time portion, so the planning phase of a campaign, for instance, and the real-time, for instance, managing an alpha scramble for, for, a real, for a real case. We are one of the satellite stations of Aircom, and we're providing with the only deployable unit for NATO that uh, provides recognized air picture for NATO uh, anywhere in the world basically. We have a deployable AOC which can also uh, anywhere in the world provide uh, planning of an air campaign on a small scale because we're a small unit. X is um, basically the operating system that we're working is, so it's an enabler for our missions. Uh, what is the most important thing is that we uh, provide a picture to link between the tactical and the operational level. So what we do here, the picture that we uh, provide with X, can be linked directly to the higher headquarters so they know what's going on and they can take their decisions based on what X and our system is providing uh, to the higher headquarters. In January 2016, the NATO KOC for Northern Europe achieved early operational capability for X. When the system went online here and we first started running the system operationally and trying to do air policing with it, we, uh, there were a lot of people wondering if the system would just falter and fail and we would just say, okay, we'll just revert back to the legacy system. That didn't happen. So it's been pretty stable and that's been a surprise for us, but it's been a good surprise. And, and we've been uh, touting that as a success. The next sites to get AXE will be Glantz in Belgium and Lyon in France in 2017. When fully deployed, AXE will cover 10 million square kilometers of airspace. The most important thing, I think, is integration with older systems. Because if we are the only ones that have AXE and the rest of the world doesn't have it and we cannot integrate with them, then we're useless. From, from my perspective, the key will be, uh, you know, the economy of mass that we can provide uh, as nations in the alliance when, you know, Italy will, won't be alone anymore, but, you know, Belgium, France and all the other will follow. Valued at over 2 billion euros, access faced criticism, including for delays. NATO has shrunk its, uh, the number of its command and control posts considerably. 
Again, I bring you a, a, an example from my own country, which is Germany. We had 14 air defense command and control posts in the past. These 14 will be replaced by three X entities. If you imagine the, the savings in manpower, man, man, manpower is very expensive over the years. If you imagine that you don't have to maintain these facilities, it, it saves a lot of money. IT is uh, the primary weapon system, I think, for NATO, for any organization uh, that deals with it. People don't realize that that costs money and costs investment in personnel. But without it, we can't work. Acts is supported and maintained by the NATO Communications and Information Agency. The agency is responsible for rolling out acts across Europe while continuing to support legacy systems during the transition phase. Despite initial delays, AXE is being deployed and is supporting NATO air policing as well as national missions in Italy and it will soon be playing a key role in NATO's ballistic missile defence. Today, looking at AXE, it's uh, behind me, uh, being operational and knowing uh, uh, the programmes uh, this uh, merging of uh, the ARC2 domain with the BMD, uh, well, let me tell you, uh, I'm feeling confident uh, that it's going to be a big success uh, of NATO uh, pushing uh, on this program. I am an operator, I am a user, but uh, I do see that it's going to be a spend to save for, uh, for NATO and for each nation that is uh, participating to the program.